Hi you guys, welcome back to Creatively Crafted Life. My name is Melanie and this is another Smash Your Stash video. And before I show you the projects that I am making this month, I haven't yet made them, <laughs> I thought I would show you what I am focusing on this month and where I am starting. So I have these bins that were originally for my washi rolls, but I outgrew these. And so what I have in here are small little ephemera embellishments that I basically just didn't want to bother to add to my die cut sticker binders because they were so little or I just wasn't feeling like I was in the mood. So I have quite the assortment of different bins here in rainbow order with some metallics and some miscellaneous. So these are somewhat organized, but I still would like to use some of them up. Then I have <laughs> this hodgepodge of trays of just stuff that's left over. There's little bits of sticker sheets. Um, I put a whole package together. I've got um, die cuts from papers. Felicity Jean. I've got some Tim Holtz leftovers from classes. You see there is a ton of stuff in here and I, oh, even some washi tape that can come out. But you get the idea, right? So I need to deal with this. I've just been moving these containers around and around and I don't like to dig or root through these. So my intent for this month is to use as much of this up as possible so I have less to put away. So that's what those are. And then I also have bins that are filled with just hearts and stars, but they are almost exploding so if I can use some of those up that would be um, bonus now the thing is these are little <laughs> so how much can I use up that's going to be the challenge and through the wonders of video editing here's what I did so I am very pleased with the results that I've done I've gone through and I've cleaned up the bins you can see they are significantly less full and I did use up quite a few of them, but I also have to admit that I decided or I'm opting to purge a bunch of these. They're just either small little bits, they don't really go with anything. Um, so I do have a whole bin here that I am purging. So these are leaving the space. Um, as for what I had left in those other bins, I did not even touch the stars and the hearts. I didn't need them. And then I have what looks like way more. <laughs> but that's because I've sorted it. So these are just all fibers and stuff like that. We have a fiber challenge coming up in the future. So maybe you will see those then. And then I just had, you know, just some odds and ends in here. Again, I've pre-sorted them so I can put them away. I still have a ton of um, die cuts and stuff in here that I have to go through. I, I have a feeling some of these will end up getting purged too, but you know how it is. And then some Felicity Jane die cuts and stuff. So better than what it was. At least it's somewhat ordered, structured, whatever you want to call it. So I can put them away or decide to purge, I think is where I'm at. And I also used up the sticker sheet, which was included in here and it was a full sheet. So I'm very happy with that. Let me show you what I made. Okay, let's start with cards. From last month's challenge, you would have seen me make made these base cards. I had this ribbon already pre-made in one of those bins and I had the hello. So that is what these ones are. I only had the one bow. It went perfectly. I added it. The other two, I don't have that and I'm okay with that. I, I think I can keep these just as they are. The paper is so cute. Um, I'm going to consider these ones done. I had this thanks sticker, foam sticker, in that stack of supplies. It was the only sticker left. I think it was from a SET sampler kit. I thought the colors went pretty well with here, like the corals and the green are in here so I think think that works again I don't think I need to add anything else so I'm going to consider this one done the love was the piece that I used up this was some I think it was simple stories Christmas line it does need a little bit of something something so this is going to go back in the base cards probably will get pulled out when we do like um, enamel dots that kind of thing this hello was in there as were these acrylic pieces and these two rhinestones. Uh, again, this was a card base that I had already made. So this one I'm considering finished. 
I had some snowflake, felt snowflakes in there. So I had these base cards already created. I just added them. They still need a sentiment and probably some sort of bling. These are going back in the base card section. Here's another one featuring that um, paper, but I had this teapot in the coral color that I thought went okay. And then I had these little plastic sentiments that uh, my friend Rose had sent me, and I don't know how well you can see that, but it's a it's a somewhat busy card. I'm not I'm not gonna lie, but um, you know it is what it is. Well, no, I think I'm gonna consider this one done. For this one, I had the black joy and this snowflake that I layered on top of the pattern. I also added the washi tape just to uh, the glitter washi tape to jazz it up a little bit. I'm not sure if it needs anything else. A part of me thinks it needs another black piece, so I'm not sure. Let me know in the comment below. Do you think I should add something else with black? Like maybe three enamel dots? I don't know. So this one's going back in my base card. I had this acrylic balloon piece in here. Um, again, these were just card bases that I had created previously. It clearly needs a sentiment of some sort, birthday themed. So this is going back in here. This is not even a full card, it's just a card panel, more of those plastic sentiments from Rose, and then this sewing machine. This would be great to go to a friend of mine that likes to sew. Again, needs some more work, so that's going in here. I had this Project Life card, and then these um, this die-cut hearts from Ellie Studio. So I thought that paired pretty well with this background paper, even though there is no purple in here. I think it still works. And I don't think I'm going to add anything else to this one. I'm going to consider this one done. Also from last time's smash, these base cards were created. I had these floral elements in there, which I added along with these sentiment strips that were in there and more of that plastic foiled sentiments. So those ones I'm going to consider. Well, actually, I think these ones need some enamel dots on them, to be honest. So this is going to go back in the base cards. I had these chipboard stars that coordinated really well with this paper, so I thought, why not stack them up? And I'm thinking maybe like a happy birthday and then a person's name, or like a happy and then a number and then birthday. So it needs a little more work. This is the card I made with that sticker sheet. So this is exactly how the sticker sheet came. I just plunked it on a card base, added this die cut that I had already done up previously, this were included in that stack of stuff, as were these little gems, so I used them on this card, and this one is finished. Also from a last time's base cards, and I had these uh, two hippo chipboard pieces that I thought looked kind of cute. Again, they need some sort of sentiment or something, so a little more, a little more TLC needed on those. So these are going back in my base cards, and these ones I'm considering done. Now let's move on to the art journaling pages. Okay, so I worked on three different journals. This is a Dina Wakely journal. I had previously done this layout and there was a lot of yellow bleed through and I thought that was the perfect match for these sunflower die cuts that I had. And so I layered those all up, added the bees and then went and looked for a quote and added that with the typewriter and I like just kind of that PC look on my art journaling pages. So that was the first one I did in here. And then the second one, I had previously done these frames, I think probably in a smash your stash last year maybe, or maybe not. These were Heidi Swap clear acrylic frames and I colored them with alcohol inks and I just stuck them in the book. So this piece, these three frames were in here and nothing else. And I will do that quite often is I'll just stick something in and then at some point something will inspire me to finish it. And so I had these um, foam stickers left over and I thought the colors went really well. So I added the two little birds. I had this um, plastic Project Life card, an acetate Project Life card. So I thought I'd add that in there and it had the words love. This vellum die cut was also in the stash. I don't know if you can see that. So I layered those all up, 
these same foam stickers had create beautiful things and then this particular um, flower arrangement and then also in there were these puffy heart stickers so I used all of those on this particular layout. I also have this journal which is what I consider my flat journal. I do a lot of um, stickers that kind of stuff in here. I like to keep it fairly flat. So for this one I had die cut out, well technically I had fussy cut so I guess I'm stretching it a little bit, all of these rose shapes from pattern paper with the intention to use them as die cuts. So that's how that's how I'm making it work this time. This was a Stampin' Up! paper and then I just kind of laid it out. I had this 4x6 card in that pack of stuff and then found a quote. This acetate butterfly was also in there so I thought I would add that. This is very black compared to the paper which runs a little more gray. So I also added in these hearts scattered throughout uh, I don't know if that was the right decision or not, but it's done and I think the hearts actually went with the sentiment of the quote that I added in here. And this book is what I'm calling my use it up journal and it's got a little bit of everything. So like for instance I have a blue page, this is where I just add blue embellishments that I want to use up. I could have gone that route. But instead I came across this paper that had some rainbow washing on here. This was from Altenew. And I thought, oh, let's do something in a rainbow kind of pattern. And so I just did a ton of those little bitty small embellishments that, you know, I just had sitting there. So I layered them all, stacked them all on top of each other. It's a little bit chaotic, but I actually really quite like the overall look. And then on this side, to complement it, I added the quote. I didn't want to cover up any of this. And I just put rain and sunshine at a couple rainbow stickers left over. So I used those up and then added the quote from Maya Angelou. And that's the last art journal page that I did. And that actually is the last project that I worked on for this month's challenge. Be sure to click on the hashtag in the title or description below so that you can check out all the other collaborators. I encourage you to look at maybe some of your old stickers, die cut packages that are just about finished, or you know how you get those things that you just kind of move around because they don't have a home? Maybe look at those and tackle that this month. Use them up. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and until next time, happy crafting.